you know, candid feedback doesn't have to be unkind. And I think the five most powerful words here is we don't do that here. Okay, we received this question. I know that open organizations are places where people expect candid feedback and honest dialogue, but that seems intimidating to me because it seems like it can lead to harsh conversations and potentially hurt feelings. Is this true? Yes, it is. Um, yeah, that's one thing you have to be really careful of in an open organization. Um, you know, candid feedback doesn't have to be unkind. And I think the five most powerful words here is we don't do that here. Um, there's a difference between being candid um, and being um, cruel or just, you know, unnecessarily blunt. Um, you can deliver candid feedback in a compassionate way, but it sometimes requires, um, you know, thinking about it intentionally and doing it that way. You know, I think many of us, <laughs> maybe the vast majority of the workforce has some trauma in the workplace around having worked with a leader at one point in time that was um, either really not a nice person or didn't have the understanding of how to communicate appropriately. You know, as Ben said, like really hold, being able to hold compassion even while delivering candid feedback. Um, and so the thought of thinking about candid feedback can be very triggering for a lot of people. I know it is for me, or it was at one point, it's like, ooh, how, I have to be really vulnerable in a place to both give and receive candid feedback. And that's a very scary proposition if you have negative associations with experiences like that before. Um, and so I think, you know, Ben's 100% right. I, I think this is true of life in general. Sometimes you're going to step into a conversation um, in work, side of work or outside the workplace, and there is a potential for feelings to be hurt. So a lot of it is, um, you know, about being able to come to a place where we understand how to have open um, discourse and in a kind, considerate way, while still being honest and vulnerable and sharing the information the way it needs to be shared. Um, and it, it takes a lot of responsibility on everyone's part to work into that. You know, there's a lot of things that we can look at. Um, around psychological safety and the different models that are required for that to happen in the workplace. Um, but right off the right off the cuff to understand that there's always potential for people to miscommunicate and misunderstand what is being said, which can lead to hurt feelings.